Hey everyone, today I want to share some of my favorite Linux troubleshooting tricks with you. These are all inspired from problems that I myself run into quite frequently when I'm debugging Linux servers. Hopefully these tricks will also save you a lot of time. So let's dive right in. Find the largest files on disk. This is super helpful when your system's disk space is about to run out and you need to perform some cleanup but don't know where to begin. Start by running find all over the system to get all the files. Next run du to get disk utilization metrics on these files. Now pipe this output to sort. This is so that we can get all these files in descending order of their size. And lastly, I don't want to see all the files with their sizes. I simply want to see, let's say the top 10 files by size. So we pass this output to head. There you go. Now you can choose the files to clean up to make more space. And of course, you can use this trick to find the largest files even in site specific directories. Just choose the directory. Sometimes you need to quickly spin up a server just to test some network functionality such as firewall configurations. For these cases, you don't need to install any complex software like Nginx and you definitely don't need to write any of your own code. Simply use netcat. Here for example, I started a simple TCP server. I can also use netcat as a client to establish a connection with my server. And this acts as a chat session. And of course, I can set up some more complex servers with netcat, such as an HTTP server. What I've done here is to set up a server where I'm simply returning an HTTP header followed by my HTML content. And now I can use a normal curl request. And there we go. Imagine you have a log file, but you don't know which application is writing logs to it. And you'd like to find out. We'll take the example of mysteryapp.log, a log file which is being written to, but we don't know anything about the applications it's writing logs to it. So it's kind of like a reverse engineering task. There's a simple way to find out all the processes that are currently accessing a particular file, whether they are writing to it or reading from it. Use LSOF to find these processes. We can now use the process ID and PS utility to find out the exact commands being run. There we go. It seems like we're running an executable that's producing all these logs. 